In football, the relationship between club owners and fans is often fairly fractious, and right now, you'd be hard pressed to find a wider disconnect than the one that exists between Mike Ashley and the Newcastle United supporters. So, what is it that Ashley has done so wrong? Is there any case for his defence? And what do the Toon Army think is the solution going forward? I'll talk about Mike Ashley all day long. Rich guy and do nothing for the club. I think he's ripped every bit of passion out of every single Newcastle United fan. Um, as a little boy, I went to the matches, climbed the terraces. Very, very excited to go to the games. Now, I go to the games more on hope rather than belief. I was an advocate of his for a long time, but I think uh, the time's come that he needs to either start signing players or at least stop making promises that he doesn't follow through on. I think the first you know, issue for the sports is, is the lack of communication. Obviously, before Mike Ashley, you had Freddie Shepard, who used to come out pretty much every day and you know have something to say about you know whatever was going on at the club. Now it's Ashley doesn't come out and say anything, and I think that's a big thing for the supporters, especially when there's questions to be answered. To be quite honest, I think he probably takes a lot of unfair criticism um, because he has injected a lot of money into the club, which other people haven't been prepared to do. But there's an overwhelming feeling by most Newcastle supporters that he doesn't actually support the club. It's rather, it's somewhere for him to put his money as an investment. We're not thick. Us Newcastle fans don't expect a lot from the football club. We don't expect trophies. We don't expect Champions League football. All we expect is a bit of ambition and to go forward as a football club. What was the last good thing that Ashley did, if anything? I don't know, but now you that's a good question. Last good thing. Sucking your canal. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably... That one, that is a very difficult one. Um, I'd probably say the last good thing he did for the club was... Although a lot of people were upset about it at the time, I think 35 million for Andy Carroll, they were, we were right to bite Liverpool's hands off there. The last good thing he did was he stabilised the football club. That's the only good thing he's done as Newcastle United in all. The one thing you, you have to remember about Newcastle supporters is they'll turn up no matter what happens. That's possibly the uh, one of the reasons why Ashley's still here because there's still 50,000 fans turn up week in week out because they love the football club and they'll always support the team. They'll all also make the protest known against Ashley which we've heard in recent games and obviously Alan Pardew so I think the fans very much football first and then you know the politics second but as you know, both of them go hand in hand. If you were to ask most football fans what they want out of their club owner, they'd say somebody that keeps the club financially stable, but at the same time puts money back in to buy players and does things for the fans, like create more affordable seating, for example. Mike Ashley does all three of those things, yet the fans here, they just don't seem to take to him. Why is that? Is it because of bad communication? Is it because of bad personnel decisions in the past? Or is it something else? Intrinsically, they just don't connect. What do you think? Does he get a fair rap or is the criticism of him just out of order? Let us know in the comments below and if you like what you've seen, plenty more where that came from on the channel. You can watch some of that right about here and you can subscribe to us by clicking here for stuff all through the week. We'll see you soon.